brand new Android OEMs are few and far between, which is why the arrival of the Nothing Phone 1 is definitely an interesting time for the mobile OS. With Awesome opting to go down the crypto route, it places an even greater emphasis on the Nothing Phone 1. And so here is our unboxing and a few first impressions. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So ClearTech is making a comeback and nothing certainly wants to be at the very forefront of that. The Ear One earbuds were a fairly safe start for the brand. And although we spent limited time with nothing's first smartphone release, the phone one certainly leaves more than a lasting impression for better or worse. The good thing is that once you wipe away all of that hype, it actually seems fairly solid overall. You're probably wondering what is just in the box. Well, beyond the basic fact that this is a slimline package, there is the phone one in there. You also will get a USB-C to USB-C charge cable. And there's even, as this phone is known for its transparent design, a transparent SIM eject tool. On top of that, there is just some device documentation. And overall, the package is fairly minimal to say the least. It's even made such that it can be recycled straight away. But getting that phone out and getting a good look at it from a sheer design perspective, the Nothing Phone 1 is certainly impressive given its $399 start price here in the UK. The boxy aesthetic is not something that I do personally like that much, but due care and attention to detail mean that this is a little bit better than just standard mid ranges out there. Because there is no high end alternative or pro version to speak of, Nothing seems to have gone all out or as much as they can given the associated cost constraints of this being a mid-range device. It is really hard not to see the obvious iPhone 12 and 13 influence here, but there are certainly a few more, or at least a few ingredient changes to that design recipe. In black, which is the model that I've been given here for review, it's a stealthy smartphone that isn't fully transparent in the traditional sense, but the clips, covers, and the cooling pipes at the rear, and that charging coil are an enticing differentiator from realistically staid mobile designs across most of Android, save a few here and there. The eye-catching glyph lighting is an interesting alternative to the LED notification light, but the fill light capability when using the camera is something I feel that is gonna be more inherently useful here and something that I didn't anticipate would be such a good addition. The white light on that glyph lighting is actually softer than a sharp, bright LED, and the result is gonna be better photos and videos in all kinds of lighting conditions if you choose to use it. Nothing also has an affinity for little touches of red. And at first I couldn't actually spot it. It turns out there's actually a little red LED that flashes when you're recording video using the rear camera. As I said, there are small details here and there that don't add up too drastically to the overall daily experience, but are great to see at least with a first release such as this. And while I would have loved to have dug into the camera quality on offer a little bit more readily, I haven't even had enough time to properly test it out. There are some nice modes available within the camera system itself with a clean camera UI, which is going to be always a good start, as I mentioned. Again, the camera is something I am hoping, though, to thoroughly test drive over the coming days, and I'll give you some results when I have done so. Nothing OS runs on this, which is effectively just another skin for Android. It is lightweight enough that it is actually hard to actively tell the difference from Android 12 running on a Pixel 6, for instance. It isn't quite as polished and some things certainly feel a little bit unfinished here and there in areas, but it's nowhere near as janky as I initially expected it could be. And given that nothing is a startup, it's all the more impressive. I've seen minor performance slowdowns here and there, and but as things go, it is pretty good. You can get bogged down when you download lots of apps during the initial startup or setup process and opening apps after a few hours from closed or cold. They may sometimes take a little while to load, but overall it is very, very impressive. The phone one isn't though quite as smooth as the likes of the Pixel 6 series, but it's by no means lagging behind by any stretch of the imagination, and I haven't really put it through its paces so readily. Some of the changes within the Nothing OS launcher that comes a stock on this, such as the larger persistent internet toggles in quick settings, do feel a little bit tacked on, but overall, my first impressions of a Nothing Phone 1 and Nothing OS are mostly positive. It's practically the same as using a Pixel, but with a few nips and tucks here and there. So while my impressions are mostly positive, I've had a little real time to spend with the Nothing Phone 1 so far. Even so, I will say that I feel like it's left me with a few Pixel 5 impressions right away, in that it's a really similar device at its core, it's a mid-ranger after all, and it feels a lot more premium than you'd expect a mid-ranger to. 
And although aesthetically those two devices diverge quite drastically, it's almost like the Pixel 5's cyberpunk cousin, if you will. At least at this early stage, that seems like a really good thing. Of course, if you have any questions about this device and our upcoming reviews and comparisons, pop them down in the comment sections below. As I mentioned, we'll have a full review coming very soon and some comparisons with some of its mid-range competitors, including the soon to be released Pixel 6a. So be sure to stick around for that. Until next time though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.